My first guest of the day, Rodrigo Fena. He's going to be calling, and we're going to be talking about his new Different Roots record by Rodrigo Fena and Change Ensemble. Good afternoon, Rodrigo. It's Abe. Good afternoon, Abe. How are you? I'm great. Where are you calling from again? Uh, uh, well, now I'm coming. I am calling you from Madrid, from Spain. I'm, I'm in Spain at this time. Right, and you, you were in. Were you in New York prior to that, or was it Toronto? I can't remember. No, no. But prior to that, well, actually, I divide my time a little bit uh, between the the Netherlands and Spain. Oh, that's I right. I have, uh, yeah. So <laughs> I I mainly they say playing, performing, and all the musicians from the ensemble are from well, or from the Netherlands, or let's say from the from the Amsterdam scene, from the Dutch scene, but. Um, I also I also teach at the university and I do that a few for a few months every year here in Madrid. Well, you've got a new album on Red Piano Records. It's uh, Rodrigo Fena and Change Ensemble. It's called Different Roots. It's coming out. Uh, well, it already came out in February, but uh, this is the first chance I've had to have you on the show. Sorry it took so long, but uh, you know what they say: good things come with patience. And uh, thank you for of being <laughs> thank you for being so patient, and thank you to uh, Mr. Jason Paul Harmon Byrne, who uh, turned me on to what you're doing from Red Cat Publicity. Thank you, Jason. And uh, I've got the album queued up. There's just so many great tracks. I'd like to start off with playing, uh, it's just called Opening, and then we'll come back and we'll chat. So uh, don't go anywhere. Okay. Ah, short and sweet. That is a opening on Rodrigo Fena's and Change Ensemble's Different Roots on Red Piano Records. That's out of Brooklyn, New York, right? Yes, uh, Red Piano Records. It, it has a, it's it's uh, based in in Brooklyn. Right. I uh, I so that that led me to wonder: um, Were you performing? How did you get involved with Red Piano Records? Well, it's um, some of the musicians that are performing in uh, in the ensemble. Um, they had a few records there, actually some very very nice records. Uh, it's uh, Gerard Clay, uh, the trumpet player who plays a beautiful uh, flugelhorn, uh, flugelhorn solo on the third track. Um, he has his, a few CDs uh, with red piano. It's, it's, it's really wonderful music. 
and uh, and also red piano it's um uh oh i have <laughs> it's late here i, I suddenly have oh that's have okay a blank, that's but, a, that's okay but, but it's through, through some musicians and and, and uh, and there's a connection with the uh, I get Frank Alver, right? That, that's the name. Frank Alver is uh, taking care of things in in Red Piano Records, and Frank uh, has performed quite a lot in Holland and and composed music. So we didn't know each other personally, but we knew some people in common, and that made it, made it possible. Well, the ensemble is rather large. I I'm guessing that you. Did you all record in one place, or was this a, a a a pandemic recording where everybody recorded in their home studios and then it was put together later? No, we recorded it in in studio, but um, I did it. Uh, some, not all, but some were done per section. That a lot of um, a lot of large ensemble recordings are are sometimes done like this. You know, like. The trumpets or, or the woodwinds, and and if there's voice, you always do the voice at the end. Um, that was a little bit not 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 because of the pandemic, because actually we finished the the whole recordings uh, before the pandemic, just before the pandemic started. Oh, okay. Um, so it it was <laughs> it, then it took a little bit longer than this, but it was just before, and it was for me. It was also a way of being uh, sure that things would be done as I as I wanted because um, I had an experience with uh, the music being performed with other ensembles and 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 I have well also you know with orchestras and those kind of things and um, sometimes things are good but to get to the point that you know the lines or the rhythms are really performed as you want you have to take time and um, so I prefer to do it. With smaller groups, like like you know, so so you can work with the with the saxophones in the phrasing in the way you want the things to be played, to to really have it as I wanted or or the closest of what I wanted or I had in my head, you know. So, I, I I think I understand. So I think I understand. So let's say you recorded all the saxophones in one recording session. So were they listening? Yeah. Were they listening to a scratch track of the rest of the music to have a feel for where they would come in? In addition to you conducting, yes. Um, the first thing that I did is that with a few musicians that that well, I, I've been working the longest. Let's say I just I just did some kind of um, general. Um, yeah, let, let, let's let's say a, a, a general draft, you know, playing yes, the main yes. line mm-hmm. and the main riffs and that, mm-hmm. and and at the end we re-recorded all because at the end I recorded again the rhythm and section with the soloist, you know, and and the people let's say playing with the whole thing. To, otherwise, it, it, it doesn't feel uh, alive. Uh, you know, well, it, you, 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 need, you need the interplay. You, you did a phenomenal job because I wouldn't be able to tell that they weren't all recorded at the same time. The, the feeling, the emotion I get from this record is really profound. And I'd like to go to the second track, which is Deep, Dark, and Blue, and thought maybe uh, you could give us a little bit of an introduction to that piece of music. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of... I mean, I have a few favorite tracks, but this one is really, really close to my heart. Uh, it was inspired um, in a um, in a Jorge Luis Borges a fragment from a book uh, that is called El Hacedor, uh, and it, it. I think the whole CD is quite nostalgic, but to me, the melody, the feeling, and that is it's very much about. Um, missing my hometown and and, and um, you know and, and missing my neighborhood. Uh, um, I, I was in in, in Holland, uh, which is so different. And then sometimes I really get this longing, you know, of uh, of the place where you're born. And uh, so the track is a little bit about that. And I, I well, were were you born in Argentina? 
I was born in Argentina. I was born in the suburbs of Buenos Aires, no, no the city center. So it's it's well, it, I think it, it's a, it's really a typical South American suburb. <laughs> I, I think that that's the best way with that I can explain because I travel a lot and and in every city it's different. You know, here it's um, it's more low houses, but it's kind of. Uh, gray, you know, in, in a certain sense, it's not, um, it, you, f you still vibrate the city, uh, but it's not as, as, you know, sometimes, for example, in the state, you think about the suburbs in some places and you, 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 you think about nature or, or very quiet neighborhoods. Yes. It's not, uh, it's not the case. <laughs> well, here, here, here is uh, Rodrigo Fena and Change Ensemble, and the name of the track is Deep, Dark, and Blue. Here, it's Tuesday Lunch with Abe on The Rock.
you've got a tune to Tuesday Lunch with Abe on the Rock. That was Rodrigo Fena and Change Ensemble from the Different Roots album. And we heard Deep, Dark, and Blue. And if you're interested in checking Rodrigo's website, his personal website is Rodrigo Fena, R-O-D-R-I-G-O-F-A-I-N-A dot com. And the Change Ensemble website is changeensemble.com. So you got both things. And also, uh, Rodrigo has uh, told me that this is on Bandcamp. So look up Rodrigo Fena. Is it on, under Rodrigo Fena on Bandcamp? Yeah, it's Rodrigo Fena. And, and the web of the ensemble is uh, changeensemblemusic.com. Changeensemblemusic.com. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. It's not changeensemble.com. It's changeensemblemusic.com. Okay, very good. Um, and okay, so now you are in Spain. Are you actively playing music in the community there, or are you concentrating on composition? No, I I um, I concentrate for for the for the last uh, I don't know almost, almost twenty years I think mainly in composing and um, and different kind of music. I, I was immersed for a really long time in. Um, in classical contemporary music, which I which I still do, uh, actually lately I was working in in a piece for piano and clarinet that will be performed here. Uh, I think it's 15 of December in the um, in the Madrid the festival in the contemporary music festival of the city, and and I don't perform much uh, here. I, I I'm not that connected in Spain. Uh, so, and before pandemic, <laughs> I was, even the time that I was here, I was flying very often to, to the Netherlands. Um, but what, well, you know, now the Netherlands, it's again facing a, oh, yes. a lockdown. So. I know I've been reading all about it and, <laughs> and, you know, I, I was curious, you moved to Spain. Is this because you, uh, you're there to teach mostly? Yeah, I teach, uh, I, I get a, a profession. Um, I'm a professor at the university, and uh, and I'm not all the time here. I think I, I teach about seven, eight months. Uh, no, it's six, seven months a year. Six, seven months a year. Um, so I, I kind of divide my time because I never wanted fully to to move to Spain because I find that um, the music scene and, and in Holland, it, it's uh, well. I don't know if it's a richer, but but maybe. Well, I, I, have, I have maybe it's more of my thing, let's say, or or I I feel more at home musically in Holland, and I develop a lot of contacts over the years, and which is something that takes a lot of time when you change the seat. Um, yes, but what's what's your uh, what's the community like where you're at? Are you in a is it a city, suburban? What what kind of environment is it? No, I'm in the center of, of Madrid. Oh, I, Madrid, I, it's okay. It's really in the very center of, of Madrid and, and Puerta de Alcalá, which is, you know, uh, just a few meters from El Prado. So it, it cannot be more in the center. <laughs> so have, 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 and, you, uh, have you become an aficionado of paella? <laughs> you know, pa uh, well... <laughs> I love paella. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to say that the life in the city, I think, uh, in that sense, I think it's, I don't know, if, what, or the best of one of the best uh, uh, in Europe. Because really to, to go out, to go to see a concert, uh, to drink some wine, you know, or, or having some tapas, it's quite cheap if you compare it to... Oh. For example, the north, the north of, of, of Europe, you know, or and then, to, to Germany, Austria, and, and or, then you've, you've and then you've got Pedro Aldemovar. I mean, nothing gets better than that. Nothing gets better of that. Of that. Uh, you know, some time ago, you were uh, just before you were asking me when we were not in the air about uh, film music. And actually, I, I told you, I'm not really a fan, but uh, Pedro Almodovar works usually with uh, Roque Baños, which is a, a very interesting composer. He's, he's from here, from uh -huh. Madrid, I think. Uh -huh. uh, 
and you know in his in his movies you you notice that the music is it has a special quality and and, and I like it um, I, I love it he's got a new movie out which I haven't seen yet it's supposed it's with a lot of the same people that act in all of his movies and it's supposed to come here in a a week or two, but I'd like to play another song, another tune rather from your album, different roots. This one is called at night. And I think you had mentioned something special about this, this composition. I, could you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, yeah. It's, um, the voice is the voice from funny. I love, which is the, the, the singer of the ensemble, which makes, really beautiful job in, in saying the text and singing all the lines. And there's a beautiful uh, solo. I think it's, it's, it's one of the solos that I like the most from the album that is from Gerard Clay, a beautiful uh, flugelhorn solo. of the house. I climb through the pipes in the hours of silence. The hot water pipes, the radiator pipes, the air conditioning ducts. I go through the pipes from apartment to apartment, and I am the bear who goes through the pipes. I think that they like me because it's my hair keeps the conduits clean. Unceasingly through the tubes, and nothing pleases me more than slipping through the pipes, running from floor to floor. Once in a while, I stick my paw out through a faucet, and the girl on the third floor screams that she scalded herself. Somewhat sure of having done 
That's Rodrigo Fena and Change Ensemble. Different Roots is the name of the album. And we just heard the third cut. It's called At Night. And Rodrigo is on with me from Madrid, Spain. And uh, thank you for... You know, today is uh, is uh, National Espresso Day in the United States. So uh, uh, I would think... Is, is coffee a big deal in Spain? Uh, well, in, in, in Spain it is, but actually my wife is Italian. <laughs> so uh, at home, espresso, it's a big thing. And, and well, I, I'm always comparing in, in that sense, you know, Italian coffee and the way that they make the coffee in Italy and the way they do it in Spain and... And I have to say, people in Spain, it's fun of coffee, but I think, you know, in in Italy, the espresso, it's something else, you know, it has a little bit of art, you know, how you do it, when you when you drink it, uh, how they prepare it, you know, so. There's just nothing yeah. better. There's nothing better than sipping on a tiny cup of hot espresso that's really thick. It gets so thick, you put a spoon in the middle and it doesn't fall over. <laughs> Well, if you go to Napoli, it's really, that's what it happens. Oh, know? really? It's really <laughs> thick. It's, yeah, it's really thick. It's really, really strong, really strong. And, and I love it. I love it. Well, let's go to another cut on your album. And, uh, oh, by the way, listeners, you are tuned in to KEBF Morro Bay, KZSR, Paso Robles. We are your listener-supported community radio for the California Central Coast you can stream us worldwide at centralcoastradio.org. We also have the free iPhone and Android community radio apps that you can get. Uh, just go to our website, centralcoastradio.org. You'll figure out all that there. And uh, to keep us on the air, because, uh, well, we don't have a, a huge benefactor. We have you guys. You guys really care about us because otherwise we wouldn't still be on the air. Currently, we've raised $5,374 toward our very humble goal of $25,000. And we are having a drive through fundraiser where you can pick up a delicious Tognazzini smoked chicken at the Maritime Museum parking lot here in Morro Bay, 1210 Embarcadero, December 9th between 4 and 5 p.m. The only catch is that you must pre-order, and you can do that at centralcoastradio.org, and you must do it by December First, and your very reasonable $15 donation helps support The Rock, and you get it, Tognazzini's top quality, one of a kind smoked chicken. Pre order now at centralcoastradio.org, and we'll see you at that Maritime Museum December 9th. You'll probably see me right next to the smoker drooling profusely. I've had one of these things before, they are really delicious. Rodrigo Fena is my guest right now. Uh, he is calling in from Madrid, Spain. And the next track I wanted to play is an installment of Time. And again, you have, how many people are in the ensemble? It looks like there's, uh, I don't know, w would it be uh, safe it, to 25 people? I think it's 23. It's, it's 23 people. Um, it's really, it's really large. Uh, um but it, I need it all really that people because it's a, it's a very flexible ensemble. You know, I think that uh, you can get the kind of uh, colors or or you know levels of intensity that 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 you cannot get out of sometimes like like a like a big band. You know, right. um, so. It, it, the kind of mood that I had in my head was was really necessary to have not only th this instrumentation but also the musicians they are playing that is really people they are people that it's uh, really into classical music classical contemporary music you know and there are other musicians they are like jazz musicians or or more into improvised you know like freely improvised music so really there's a uh, it's, it's a, I think it's a unique combination, and, and, and it's necessary to make it, the music work. Well, on that last cut we played, which was at night, the soloist was Gerard Klein on the flugelhorn, and I just lo I loved his solo. I love the whole feeling of this record is very 
lush and 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 I don't know. I feel like I'm in in sort of a meditative kind of state when I'm listening to it. Is was that your intention, or uh, how how do people react when they listen to the music? What are their impressions? Well, um, you know, p- p- people, many people talk about like uh, they related to um, to feel music, you know, and mm. and uh, and I always explain that it's really not like that because it, I don't, I'm not a fan of film music, neither I use any techniques, you know. My background is uh, like jazz, like straight ahead jazz, and. Um, and and of course you know like a, a composer like Bob Brumeyer, I mean the the people that really make a stamp in 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 jazz composition. And on the other hand, in in the classical contemporary music. Um, so so I don't have that that cinema, but I think that I I, I try to make music that is evocative. You know, I I see images in my head or or stories. And I try to describe that with music, to tell those stories with music. So when people tell me this about, uh, you know, it's it's like a film music, I think that the web they are telling me is that when they listen to the music, they can they can see these images or this, you know, kind of abstract images that that are there, and that made me really happy because it is my intention. You know, it's like I feel like I'm doing. A, a good job in, in, well, in transmitting what I want to transmit, you know? It's it's interesting that you mentioned that, because just the other day, and I can't remember who the artists were, I watched a video of a pianist who had electrodes taped to her forehead and her scalp, and as she was playing, there were these large projected images in real time coming from her brain waves. So even though it was a visual representation of her brainwaves and you're, and I don't know if she would have seen that if she closed her eyes, but when I close my eyes and I listen to this kind of music, I do see abstract images. If I'm in the dark, okay, you have to be in the dark and you get these really interesting, abstract, colorful images that just, it's sort of like looking at a painting that's alive. And I'd like to close out this set with, this last track that I'm going to play, although there are other tracks and I will play them on subsequent shows. This one's called an installment of time. And I would like to very much thank Jason Paul Harmon Byrne of Red Cap Publicity and, uh, and yourself, Rodrigo Fena of the Rodrigo Fena and Change Ensemble. The new album is Different Roots on Red Piano Records and you could get it at Bandcamp. You could get it at, uh, changeensemblemusic.com and thank you so much for joining the show and uh, I look forward to more music coming out Are you? do you have plans for another record? yes uh, I'm, I'm actually st- starting to to write music for the for, for a new record it's with the same people it's a little bit uh, smaller ensemble uh, but I'm in the beginning of that of that process. Uh, so thank you for and, and thank you a lot for having me, Ava. I, I really enjoyed. You're so you're so welcome. And uh, we're going to play an installment of time. You are tuned to ninety seven three and one zero seven nine The Rock.
stem in two fingers and rotate it smoothly. Now, another installment of time opens. Trees spread their leaves. Boats run races. Like a fan, time continues filling with itself. And from that burden, the air, the breezes of earth, the shadow of a woman, the sweet smell of bread. What did you expect? Understand. 